Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Oh, so Spirit is saying, oh, the outcome you seek is ahead in the far future. So it is manifesting, but Spirit, maybe Spirit is saying you're prolonging a manifestation because you guys don't believe in it. Yeah, it says you can't expect to manifest if you do not believe. The outcome you seek is ahead in the far future. So something may still manifest for you, but it may not manifest as quickly as you would like it to because spirit says you have doubts but see, now we see it says the answer is a definite yes without delays what's behind that it is going to manifest quickly towards your desired outcome with no how was it getting to that point lack of confidence is hindering your i'm telling you it's something about like your confidence or the way that you're thinking about something that is prolonging something from coming in like quickly like if you guys change your perspective on something it is going to manifest for you very quickly, okay? So it's not a no, but it's not a yes. It's a yes, but it may happen way, you know, further in the future. If you change your mindset, it could be happening very soon, okay? So what is it that they're trying to manifest? Ooh, ow. <laughs> action. So some type of, oh, maybe you guys have to take action to do something. No more overthinking. You're breaking the cycle of an action and finally getting something done. You will set your plans in motion and realize action is the only way to move forward in life. Tell me more. We have discovery and support. You will discover within you the immense knowledge and skills that remained, remained undeveloped and unlocking the magician within you that will lead to emotional fulfillment and newfound confidence. Someone will enter your life to help you help. Someone will enter your life to offer their support and stimulate your personal growth. Their act of kindness will help you see and believe in the magic within you. Okay. Tell me more. What are they manifesting? A soulmate. Of course. A soulmate connection is making its way to you. Keep your heart open and don't fear letting love in. Know, know that you are being divinely guided to be in each other's lives. So what is clarify action? For, oh. I know you guys aren't going to want to hear this. <laughs> So for some of you, your soulmate's not coming in because you guys still aren't over an ex. For others of you, what you wanted to happen between you and somebody else is here or it's coming in soon. But now what's going to, the only thing that's going to keep it from moving forward is that you, you needed to forgive yourself or forgive this person. But it says you're finally getting over something or someone and though it wasn't easy, you will ultimately forgive and move, move on peacefully to set yourself free. So I'll tell me more. We have awakening. You will find yourself waking up to a new awareness and deeper consciousness that will transform your life and allow your beautiful light to emerge. Tell me what it is about their way of thinking that's blocking their manifestation. What is their way of thinking? Teach. You'll one day share your story with others. You have power and a lot more than you realize. So maybe you need to believe in your power, believe in who you are and your worth. Speaking up about your experiences and about what's important to you is a way to create change. Tell me more. And we have ancestors. Your ancestors are rooting for your success as they watch you break ancestral karma. There's something about the way you were raised or what you were taught or the way that you were brought up or something like that. One step at a time, more gets cleared and more growth sinks in. What is the, What needs to change in their perspective? Happiness. You're entering a happier period of happiness and leaving behind dark times behind you. Taking steps into a new chapter where happiness begins and peace is restored. Maybe you guys need to really make peace with the situation. And Spirit says what you've been through can actually be helpful to other people. Yeah, abundance. Your manifestations are about to start paying off abundantly. You are long overdue for some great financial rewards and you are finally being rewarded. Tell me more. Ooh, rivalry. You will encounter competition that will force you to stay ahead of the game. Remember, they are not your enemies. Let it make you stronger and transform envy. So who's jealous of you? Somebody's jealous of your abundance and your happiness. What do they need to change about their perspective to bring in this manifestation quicker? Repe oh, that you run the risk of repeating the same story, whether it's setting boundaries or finding the courage to speak up for yourself. It's time to do things differently. So I feel like Spirit is saying you're on the right path, but there's some type of repeating cycle in your life that you need to really acknowledge and address or like handle differently and i feel like once you really do this that's when things are going to start coming in for you very quickly yeah somebody had a reading like this yeah inner child 
you're ready to bring that inner child spirit out and open yourself up to new adventures you'll realize that the, you don't have to take life so seriously there's still plenty of fun to be had tell me more all right that's too many we have intuition your intuition is your superpower you are harnessing your psychic abilities and learning to trust the inner voice to guide the decisions you make so yeah stability 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 is on its way you've done the work and it's time to embrace financial stability in your life without see like you guys money is very abundant like you guys have money coming in so there's things going on behind the scenes yeah though life may seem uneventful to you it doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes while you rest trust and surrender to the universe so there's really nothing that you guys need to do it's just saying that it's like they're working out the rest like behind the scenes I feel like what you guys can see that's manifesting into your life or you will be able to see right now is like you have, you're going to feel like your money is doing better. But in regards to this, like something else is going on. We're like, tell you, give me one more card on repeat. Flow. Yeah. You've let go of your expectations and attachment to the idea of what you thought. Oh, that's what needed to change in your perspective. You guys were holding on to a certain outcome in a situation or a certain person and things being a certain way with them and things playing out in a certain timing and the way you wanted it to. But it says, since you're letting go of your expectations and your attachments to the idea of what you thought would make you happy. See, you guys are finding alternative ways to make you happy. There was somebody who you were like play, a little bit too codependent on or something like that. You guys found happiness outside of another situation. You were bait, like you were too set on this as being like you're happily ever after, and this is what you was gonna make you happy, and this is what you wanted. And you guys are maybe getting a little bit more flexible on that now, and you're learning to be happy without that thing or that situation or that job or that person in your life. And that's what spirit says you needed to do. They wanted you to get out of some type of codependent energy. And I feel like for a lot of you, you guys have done that, or you're in the process of doing that. Yeah, so that's what needed to happen before your manifestation came in. Your perspective on things needed to change. You needed to not be so set, dead set on some certain type of outcome and things happening in a certain timing and things playing out a certain way. Yeah, and that by you doing that, you were getting in your own way. It was like a need to kind of like let go, make peace with the current reality of a situation and let it go. Yeah. Learning to get out of your own way by embracing the flow of life. Yeah. That's on the back. We have just, the, see? Oh my gosh. Yes. You guys needed to go down a different path or at least right now or for the time when, when this, whenever. But there was a need to go down a different path. The divine was guiding you to do this. And I feel like you guys were really dead set on not going down a different path. You're like, no, this is who I want. And this is the job that I want. And this is where I want to be. And that's just what I want. And that's that. And Spirit was like, no, we're telling you that if you go down this other path, if you loosen your grip on what you think things should be like, we're taking you down a different path. We're taking you on a detour. Go with the flow. Go with this detour that we're taking you on. And it's actually going to lead you to what you wanted. 10, 10 on the camera as I'm saying that. Wow. Some of you guys were just so dead set on making something work with somebody. I don't want to be away from them or I don't want to leave this job. This is the job I want to be at. But spirit was telling you, you need to go down a different path. You need to learn how to be happy without this situation. You need to make peace that something isn't what you wanted it to be right now. And there's nothing you can do about that. Yep. It's okay to change your mind and move in a different direction. What is brewing will change the course of your life moving forward. You'll know when it's time. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you guys maybe took a leap of faith and went in a different direction away from somebody. Yeah, because you were being really, you were being urged to do this. Some of you guys were being urged to focus more on your purpose and shift your focus away from this other situation. And while you guys have shifted your focus onto your purpose, some of you guys do something that for work or that brings them money that is like your purpose. And um, I feel like while you guys have been focusing on that, there's been other things going on behind the scenes that you can't see. Um, that is bringing shifting something in your favor. Yeah, circumstances are shifting in your favor. The scales are being balanced and there will be justice for those who have wronged you in the past. There is somebody who is getting karma. All right, there is somebody that is getting karma or learning, learning karmic lessons. 
while you're over there, you, you shifted your focus onto yourself and your own happiness and your purpose. And you have a lot of abundance and money going in. Somebody else is over there going through karma. Justice is being served. Um, and I feel like for you, like your health is improved. Guys, I cannot make this up. It says, expect to have a boost in your energy levels or an increase of healthy activities that will greatly improve your overall health as well as help you maintain a positive mindset. Look, and then right after that, this is the last card I'm taking out of this deck too. Acceptance. It says you're accepting situations and people for what they are and learning to let go of things that can no longer be fixed to challenge yourself to grow. Oh, and, and choosing to change to challenge yourself to grow. So instead of trying to change this person, you guys started trying to change yourself. And that's what Spirit wanted you to do. Because you can't force somebody to change. And once you made the decision to do that, everything started moving in your favor. Like, in all ways. Like, in even this situation, with this, whoever this, this job, this person, is shifting in your favor, too. One, two, three, four. Wow, there is progress. There are things progressing. Okay. That was cool. And your ancestors are like, they're, they've been guiding you toward this per, towards a soulmate. Yep, things are moving very quickly now. Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys were like, there's something that's destined to happen either way. Because that card said in the far off future or whatever. But it should have happened sooner. Or it can happen sooner depending on how you handle the situation. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Two of Swords in reverse. We have the Knight of Cups. Somebody's making a decision to reach out to you or offer something to you. Yeah, the Hierophant, a commitment. Yeah. Taurus energy. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Yep, somebody's made up their mind here. I feel like somebody's made the decision here. They were indecisive about this. Somebody feels like losing you would be a missed opportunity. Some of you guys may ignore this person, though. Yeah, we have Temperance in reverse, though. Mm, I don't like that. Mmm. They maybe have lost patience or something like that. They don't want to wait any longer or they feel like they have to hurry up and come in with an offer. Yeah. Tell me about the hair font. Sag energy here. We have the, the queen of pentacles. So somebody wants to commit to somebody who they view as a very, that has their very nurturing and generous and stable and maybe even owns a business. Like they have, they make good money. They, they do very well for themselves. They're a, they're a mom, a dad very caring like they live a good they, they built a good life for themselves very wise and sensible that's who somebody's wanting to commit to tell me more about this taurus virgo capricorn energy we have the seven of pentacles in reverse though and the ten of swords in reverse mm, what's that do with anything the three of wands the wheel of fortune yeah somebody is I think you were dealing with a person that was almost in the completely exact opposite energy as you. Somebody that didn't know what they like, that didn't have their shit together. Mm -hmm. Didn't have, they were very, they weren't ambitious. And I think you guys have learned some type of lesson here. You learned some type of lesson. This person did hurt you. But I feel like you guys just decided to kind of like grow and open up to new possibilities. And something is changing with the seven of swords in reverse. Somebody's wanting to rec make amends with you. But why is the strength card in reverse? The ten of wands in reverse. We have Leo energy coming out now. What does that have to do with this person? They don't want to fight anymore. Somebody could be surrendering. Mm hmm. What is the ten of wands in reverse? Oh, they're letting somebody go. Yeah, they're releasing somebody. Could be a Leo that they're letting go of. What are they working on? Moving on from something. Learning lessons and moving on from something. Yeah, what does that do with my collective? The Four of Pentacles. You're holding back. They, they haven't let you. Oh, they have not moved on from you. Nope, they have not moved on from you. <laughs> The moon, though, Pisces energy. What about the moon? They're 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 scared, though. They could be scared that you're moving on from them. What are they up in their head about? They're not happy. What are they not happy about? Are they feeling starting to feel pessimistic that maybe they'll be able to manifest something with you? The magician, Gemini, um, Virgo, Aries energy, the Empress in reverse. What about the Empress in reverse, the High Priestess. 
the Knight of Swords. What about the Knight of Swords? The Knight of Wands are yours. Why are they not? What is that? Mm, they had to leave something toxic. What about the Magician, though? Mm, they need to work on their finances, too. They have the Lovers. I can't show it on camera, but yeah, the Lovers in reverse. They're leaving something behind. Why somebody that's not their person? Who's the Empress in reverse? The Ace of Cups and the Death. They they know that they're gonna have to end things with somebody who is not the one to be able to have a new beginning with the one. And um, so I guess probably what's been happening while the two of you have been in separation is they've been closing out a cycle. This is very similar to the Twin Flame reading that I just did. Like they are while you guys have been in separation. You chose to, you know, walk away from this situation and focus on your own personal growth and your purpose. While you've been doing that, they've been over there <laughs> closing, leaving somebody, like in the process of learning lessons and closing out a cycle. They're, the blockage that was keeping the two of you from coming together. Yeah, nothing was ever going to come together or pro progress until they, they closed something else out. Maybe they had to see that another person wasn't their person or something like that. Let's see. Um, let's get a few. See, we have let's enjoy our happiness. Ooh, I smile in your back. I smile in your face and talk shit behind your back. What is that about? Move on. Move on from what? What's to do with my collective? You have nothing to be worried about. Why do they have nothing to be worried about? Show affection. What about show affection? I dream about you. They have, they, you're the ones that, they have a love for you. They dream about you, but what is this? I smile on your face and talk shit behind your back and move on. Ooh, what is this? Stay together. They don't love you like I do. Marriage. I missed out. Mm. They chose a snake over you or something. This keeps coming through in the collective. For some of you, they chose to stay with another person. Like, you definitely could have been dealing with somebody that was already involved when you were dealing with them, okay? But who was this? I smile on your face and talk shit behind your back. See, somebody was trying to manipulating them. Yeah, somebody was manipulating them. Tell me more. I can't, they can't stop thinking about you, but I want to control you. Whoever this third party is, they couldn't control this. They tried to. Yeah, because you, they, your energy is unmatched. This third party was trying to keep maintain some type of control over your person. They were manipulating. Yeah, they don't love you like I do. Somebody was trying to tell your person that you didn't love them like you love. They love them or something like that. That they, they should stay together. What? What is marriage? I, for some of you, maybe they felt like they... So what was the easy way? Ooh, the cheat. What? What? They cheated on you? Self-care is advised. Love you more. What is the infidelity is the easy way out? They have more money than you. Oh. I enjoy the player life and having sex with several. Oops. Yeah. So they, they, they think it was easier to just stay with this other person because they're a cheater. Like they know that you want a commitment with them and they knew that they weren't, they didn't, they weren't ready for like at least a traditional commitment. <laughs> like they wanted like to be able to sleep or have more than one person. What if they have more money than you do? Ooh, there could have, we have cocaine, opioids, her heroin, and meth. What the hell? We need to talk ASAP. What is that? 
Ooh, this is messy, guys. That's why I don't like getting this deck out because somebody was literally maybe trying to control your person with spell work too. But what is this about drugs? I haven't changed. I'm just lying to get what I want. Ego and facade in the way. I'm telling you, somebody wore a mask, guys. Somebody wore a mask. What does that do with my collective, though? They got people pleaser habits. They did. They they did something to please other people. Yeah, they chose some some an incubus or subcubus spirit over you. So that's like a person that. Yeah. <laughs> what about kids are a factor? I could talk about you. Con See, you're heavily on this person's mind, but they chose somebody over you that is possibly on drugs. That was maybe telling your person that they weren't on drugs anymore or something like that. What is this? Ego and facade in the way. Money issues. Somebody has money issues that they weren't telling you about. See, they feel like you're the stable person and has their shit together. What about that? Bad timing. Yeah. Mm. See, what is this blackmail? Did somebody... Guys, I hope you weren't dealing with somebody that was doing drugs and somebody was telling them like, oh, if you, if you do this, I'm going to go tell the collective or I'm going to tell somebody that you're on drugs. Yeah, karmic. What is this? What is this? I'm lost without you. I hope they haven't turned to doing drugs because they're with you or because you're, I don't or because they, they're heartbroken. What about heartbreak? They will text your call with what intentions? Invest your money wisely. Feeling depressed. They feel like they invested in something that they shouldn't have. Ooh. Health concern. Health concern and a baby or a child came out. So there could have been something to do with. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, goodness, y'all. Soulmate. Focus on you. Don't worry about them. Yes. So, Spirit. Okay. Obviously, we can see your person's going through messy shit. This is their karma, guys. They're going through it. This is how they're telling you. This is just like the twin flame reading I just did. A little different. It kind of dug a little deeper than the twin flame reading. It, it took a more of a look at why you guys, it was so important for you guys to walk away from this. And how, how important you walking away from or how significant you walking away from this is. All right. Or it was. All right. But yes, this is your soulmate. Yes, this is whoever, your twin, whatever, soul tie. But it says, focus on you, don't worry about them. And I feel like that's what you guys started doing, okay? And now they know they made a mistake. Now they know they messed up. Yeah, with this karmic soulmate that they chose to deal with. Yeah, that this. look at this. He or she likes it toxic with me. But they miss you. Mm-mm-mm. Shadow work is needed. Definitely. See, what is a secret baby or child card that keeps coming out? If you see, ooh, for some of you, they don't want to take ownership and accountability for a child, a secret baby or a child. Tell me more. What is this? This is in it for the long haul? Or they're trying to, what is secret baby or child? Oh, false hiding, false mask hiding. Ooh. They hate you and it's jealousy. There are some people that don't want this person with you. This keeps coming out. They don't feel the same. Guys, I hope that they didn't get involved with somebody who they don't even really see. They could have got uh, somebody that they don't even want knocked up. This mistake cost me what matters. Mm -hmm. They know that having this other person, you're not the only one, cost, possibly cost them what matters to them. They're not really telling me about this secret baby or child. See, I don't know. I use you when it benefits me. Mm, you have, I don't understand what happened with the secret baby or child. It's complicated. Mm. They're telling you, but it said I was not good enough for you. For some of you, what it's saying is that this person is a child. Okay? 
they're a secret baby or a child. This person's childish. They don't like taking accountability or ownership or they don't like, grow, they don't want to grow up. They've been maybe trying to put on this facade that they're an adult, but no, they're not. They, 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 they won't man up. They won't woman up. Okay. They won't woman up. Okay. 